This is an ambient exploration game in which you take photographs of your surroundings. And hang on a second here. It doesn't seem to be when I click in, it just freezes. XSplit is really cool like that sometimes. Um, for full immersion, it's recommended that you play alone in the dark with headphones on. So this game is called Interior Worlds. And it's not capturing particularly well. Now it might be okay. So Soda Raptor uh, made this. And I know the PS1 aesthetic and the liminal space thing. You've seen it. But. Soda Raptor made that awesome game I played not that long ago. And I think that would be, um, it would be foolish of me not to check this out. Hypnagogia. Yep, that's the one. Couldn't think of the name of it, was waiting for a chat member. Thank you. Once again, you found yourself on the move, unable to get any sleep. You are nestled deep in the routine of another nighttime drive for some relief. It's 3 a.m. and the immense absence of light envelops everything around you. Yet, despite the loneliness of this localized void, something is following you. Miles of barren, chalked road lay between you and whatever point you decide to turn back. But tonight feels different. You've never felt like turning back less than you do right now. Empty lots, blackened buildings, dimly lit hallways, they all lie awake along with you. With each one you pass along the way, the urge to pay them a visit grows stronger. Those spaces between the spaces. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's been done a lot lately. The connecting bridges between different worlds. The bridges that are themselves a world all their own, each leading nowhere. But do they really go nowhere? What do they want to show us? Something tells you the next fuel stop has an answer. Welcome to Fuel Stop! Where associates can provide 15% or more off your car insurance. How can I help you? So already we're in my favorite setting of life and video games. A gas station in the middle of the forest. <laughs> this was just at my, in my house. Wad. And yet here it is again. middle of nowhere at night I saw a car Chad are you getting crusty frame rates like when I do this you are I don't know why this isn't playing well with XSplit. Some games just don't. That's even worse. That's a little bit better. It's more tolerable now. Yeah, that's mm, still not great. I mean, I don't want to dumb down the visuals too much because that's part of the appeal of this thing. And then when that happens, oh, I can see it. That's a shame. Well, Soda Raptor, if you're watching, uh, this happens. Maybe it's just isolated to just a spot. Why does this happen? Hang on. I'm trying one more thing, chat. I'm trying one more thing. I think I got it. I think I got it. Let 
Let's see. This spot was pretty bad. Um, it's better, right? Okay, I limited the frame rates in XSplit. That's it. So it's it's a little smoother now. Okay, sorry to ruin the vibe, but here we are. Now we can get into it. We got food, we got beverages. Merle, Merlebur? Mer Merlebull cigarettes? On lunch break. Can you grab some Muddy Buddies for me? Um, I need a Cosmic Brownie myself, so if I find that, I'll grab you a Muddy Buddy. Someone in chat said it's still rough. I think this is the best we can get, chat member. I'm sorry. There's a payphone. There's trash. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Not really sure what else to do here, chat. Take car? Oh, hang on, we got something. Okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. That's locked. So maybe that's not that one. There are a few places I would maybe not want to spend too much time at on this planet. But one of those places is a bathroom in a fucking gas station. I think hell is just... Like, you're just permanently living in a fucking gas station bathroom. And now we go... here. But wait, doesn't this just connect to the other side? does. Huh. Yeah, this reminds me so much of my house. Wad. Um, oh god. This is different. It's closed. It's not like derelict or anything, it's just fucking closed. It just 
blank. I mean, there's definitely an atmosphere just instantly built into a setting like this. Especially if you're in a place like this at night and you've maybe never been here before. And there's just nobody. That's completely empty. Wasn't there another game like this with a bike? I do have a vague memory of that, but I'm not sure what it was. Have you drove to places like this? Not like intentionally necessarily. Um, not like, boy, I want to go into the middle of, of the nowhere. But yeah, I mean, I've been to parking garages like this. Just that felt really just weird. I mean, not haunted or anything, but just weird. Um, and I remember one time I was driving back from Boston and I don't know if maybe a highway was closed, but it took me through like a lesser highway. And yeah, it was just trees on both sides for a long time. And I was the only one on the road. And I was listening to last podcast on the left. And I was really tired because I ended up leaving late and it was at night. And I remember... Pulling into a gas station. Uh, not a gas station, like, um... Well, it was a gas station slash food place. And I just kind of, like, slept for, like, 20 minutes. Like a rest stop, yeah, but it was a small one. It was a small one. Nothing spooky happened. It, it, I mean, it felt a little spooky. But, like, I'm not gonna tell you that a ghost came out of the driveway or anything, or, like, out of the taco that I bought, whatever. How do I check the gallery? So we're going, we're ghost hunting. I can't wait to check the photos and then just see like, a, like a little tiny orb like that right there. see any ghosts. There are secrets as well. So I'm not really sure where, where the secrets are, but... But they are secret for a reason. He missed the big red circle. Did I? I don't see a big red circle, I'm sorry to say, chat member. Which is precisely why I missed it earlier.
you can both zoom in and focus camera before shots. So there's zoom. Right, and then you have... Focus. Let's see. Turned off. Chad, if you see any secrets, just um, let me know. Call me on the payphone. There was a red light. I thought that was, um, ambient red light or something. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Vinny, you missed one at the beginning of the game. You have to restart your whole game for it. Oh, this red light, yeah. I mean, it's something. Why is my birthday here? I'm okay, I'm assuming I'm assuming it takes your birthday from Steam or something if that's even a thing. Or, or, Soda Raptor, or Soda Raptor knows my birthday is May 12th. That's not a thing. Okay, it's either a wild coincidence, or Soda Raptor knew I would play this at some point because I played Hypnagogia and found my b birthday. <laughs> birthday. Bro, that was a quote from you? What do you mean there was a quote from me? You do say that a lot? I mean, I... There are so many games to play. I mean, I, I guess I say that a lot. Yeah, sure. I, I say that, and then I have a hard time keeping up with the amount of games that I wish to play, so... Uh, that, um... That is deeply strange. How is that a Vinny quote? I mean, it's not a, a specific Vinny quote, it is just a phrase I happen to have said a lot whenever people are like, Vinny, play. This game, this game, Shin Megami Tensei. This game, this game, this game. And then I'm like... Alright. You also said that Zelda releases on your birthday many times. Well, I... You know, my birthday... Being May 12th isn't exactly... You know... 
a secret, but um, if the next piece of paper has spin written on it, then you'll know. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. That's just that's just strange. Indy, it's a do Indy. Oh, Joel would hate this. Holy fuck. He's going to the bathroom. Okay, now if the alien shows up in the bathroom, then we know. We know for sure. Points of interest may appear nearby. Take photos of these locations. So it looks like in viewfinder mode, there are in fact some... some things you can see that you wouldn't normally be able to. Maybe. Basically, the ghosts are photo spots. From certain angles, they give you liminal photos. Didn't your uncle also used to drive one of those vans? I, honestly, actually, yes. I don't know if you were joking around, like, you know, on, uh, in reference to silly coincidences, but... But yes, or maybe I told the story and you remembered, I don't know. Either you, you're taking a shot in the dark, making a jape, or you remember some ancient story I told on stream many years ago. I don't know where this red key can go. Vinny, didn't you park in a garage one time? How do you know this, chat member? How, how do you know so much about me? So, hang on. Uh, we've been here. And I opened something with one of the keys. And there's the other one. Didn't you once take a picture with a camera? Never once. Never mind that I actually worked developing photos at one point. I, I, I love these duendes.
I think it's less about trying to capture a ghost and more about like this is a photo of a cool spot. As the chat member said, I think that makes sense. Secrets found. Yeah, no secrets though. Compass. Scroll wheel can holster compass. Follow the um, needle to find nearest photo anomaly. Compass will point to the exit once you've captured all the anomalies. Well, this is an interesting take on the liminal thing. And I do like the visuals. Like, I'm still a sucker for this kind of thing. Um, there's no texture warping, which, I'll be honest, I'm completely fine with. I don't know what that was over there, but it's gone now. So yeah, I'm I'm good with um, visuals like this. I, qu I quite like them, in fact. But um, a lot of these liminal games end up just being... Look at the things. And um, that Anomonopolis game I played not too long ago was actually really good. I really liked playing that one. Even if most of it was just solve light puzzles and walk around. But... I don't mind creepy environment games because I just like seeing the environments and the textures and the details. But just giving you just the, the slightest modicum of gameplay here with the camera, I feel adds adds to it a little bit. Yeah, these are the exact ones that they have in the New York City subway station. Is that a coincidence? Be, uh, stand clear of the closing doors, please. Be clear of the closing do No exit. Got a protective shield. I think it's the, the trash that's in the way. I got it. I mean, that's a good photo. Let's be real. That's a that's a good photo. of an old film camera. I don't. Well, it's a big hobby for some people. Is, you know, old cameras in particular. I actually knew someone that was really into collecting 
stuff like that. And, uh... It's expensive. And they're fascinating, but... Yeah, not, not something I'm really particularly interested in. Um, going backwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Well, there's also secrets that I would like to discover and find. Um, we also need a door code, which, as it happens, is not, in fact, my birthday. Chat, I thought I was the main character. There's an audience here and everything. Like, am I not the main character? There's so much evidence to prove that I am. There are a lot of uh, TikTokers and Instagrammers that have. Oh, uh, they they are very main charactery. And um, the thing is, though, when you keep getting positive reinforcement in that direction, God damn it, I, I can kind of understand why people feel that way and then begin to act, let's say, a little uncouth, maybe unwise even. Believe your birthday is a code on the previous level and not the metro level. Well, I didn't see a. I looked. I looked. Wait, is that a part of the code? Two six, maybe. I see a two and a six. I don't know. Backwards again. Chat was like, yes, Vinny, it is backwards. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to go this way anyway. Let me just take a quick look down the hallway here. No, we're good. Yeah, my navigation skills are not the best, especially in a place like this. Right now, I'm just thinking, like, which train do I have to get on? Okay, is it the, is it the A? Is it the, the, the M? Is it the 3? Uh, which one goes uptown? Oh god, did I go down the wrong subway station? A am I- I gotta go uptown, and, and yet I I'm in the downtown station. O oh god. I'm gonna end up in Queens. I'm gonna end up in Queens, aren't I? Yeah, I can't get through here, so... I mean, there is... The compass is pointing this way. Down 
this way. Yeah. Not bad, that. Is this what taking a subway at 3 a.m. is like? Um, not really, because there's more people. Whether there be people sleeping on the floor, pissing on the floor, eating off the floor, loud, drunk people. I mean, it can be a little bit um, scary at night sometimes. I, I wouldn't recommend it if, if you could avoid it. And, uh, you know, again, whoa. Uh, it's just a matter of sometimes people are drunk and aggressive. So I would avoid that. Forget your knife and chainmail when you leave your house to go anywhere in New York. It's you know what? Anecdotally, generally I don't take the subway. I like to walk. I I take I I take a boat, truthfully, or I walk or I drive. But anecdotally, it's been fine. I think it's just be careful at night. You know, if you're alone. And be aware of where you're going. And like, you know, just kind of... Be aware of your surroundings and the people around you. Um, but generally, if it's in like Greenwich Village or East Village during the day. Or like Midtown, Downtown. It's fine. Someone said that's not reassuring. Why well, I me? Mean, <laughs> I think anywhere in New York City, or a lot of major cities, you're going to want to be careful and not walk around at night alone in, like, maybe a sketchy neighborhood. The same applies to New York City. Someone said something about um, being pushed onto subway tracks. Um, yeah, don't don't stand too close to the tracks. I just just um, yeah. I I mean, but it's also one of those things where like, you know, what hundreds of thousands to a million people a day take the subway. Y y it's like if you're in a car on a highway, the chances of like a rogue tire are also there. I'm not saying things don't suck but yeah you gotta also be careful and realize when you're in a place with a lot of people a lot lot of people it's worth being careful but you're also anytime you leave the house a rogue meteorite could fall on your head it's just averages and odds like are you willing to take the risk of flying because there is always that small chance so that's kind of how I feel about it, but there are ways to, to mitigate that and to, I think, travel safely. And, um, understood if those things freak you out. They freak me out, too. I think about them from time to time. 
death by meteor is cooler. There are like a number of reported cases of said meteorite striking a human. Okay, the exit is this way. I really want to know what that secret code is, though. It's the exit. You know what? As much as I would love to know the code and know what's behind that door. I'm gonna just keep moving. I could have you could move the beams behind a closed gate earlier. Airport. Saw a duck. Um. Yeah, I'm both fascinated by airports and also just don't like them because of the, uh, just the amount of things one has to do. What's the airport with, like, the fucking weird cult mural? that people were, were losing their shit over and, and interpreting in various ways. Denver? It's funny, I would be more interested in visiting the fucking Denver airport than Denver itself. Whoa! I imagine, chat. Imagine if that happened. And then the money disappeared. Also, I kind of think I wouldn't mind enjoying the scenery of Denver. Like, the more I think about it, I'm like, no, I, I would probably enjoy that just fine. I just like seeing different cities. It's still 420. Go to Denver real quick. I've got 15 minutes to get to Denver, Colorado. You know what I can do, chat? I can just, like, fly against the time zones and I, I would get there. I'm telling you, it's like almost time travel. If you go fast enough... If you go fast enough, you can, like, beat the time zones. Are you JFK or LaGuardia? How about fucking neither? I will- I promise you, I am definitely not JFK. I chose to do the other things. LaGuardia is better? Well... Sure, if I had to choose between the two, JFK is out of the way, and always traffic, and, like, the terminals to pick people up are kind of shit. Um, I don't like the Belt Parkway, so I would like to avoid JFK as much as possible. Uh, Newark. Newark, New Jersey. It may smell a little bit, but you know what? It's not bad, and there's an Ikea not far from it.
There's a couple shadow people on this level, and there's one in a chair. Okay. Uh, Chad, I wanted to mention something. Um, I watched a movie. So, Liam, Liam Triforce, who some of you probably have seen his videos, he's a good lad. And he wanted to watch a movie in VR. So, a few of my mods, Liam and King K and I watched a movie in a VR movie theater. And, um, the movie was Nausicaa. And it, it's the first Ghibli movie I've watched. Now that, again, that was Liam's idea, because he was re-watching stuff. And he wanted me to see one. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll check it out. And you know what? It was good. I enjoyed it. I know there are some people who would love to see me go down some kind of anime rabbit hole. But I'll be honest. Um... Yeah, once in a while is fine. I don't, I don't think I necessarily need to go down that rabbit hole at, at this moment. I think I'm okay with that. But I like the movie. I wouldn't mind watching another Ghibli or two. <laughs> I don't want to saying it like that. I actually really liked uh, Nausicaa. I thought it was really cool. And, uh... Yeah, I would probably watch another one at some point. So that's my second anime, everybody. Vinny, watch all 1,050 plus episodes of One Piece. Why is it called One Piece if there are thousands of them? Checkmate, atheists. Can't believe I just said that. Hoping there'd be an alien in the bathroom. Ghost in the Shell. Have you seen the Langoliers? Stephen King? No. I haven't seen that. Um, no, I, I'm aware that Ghost in the Shell would be something I would enjoy. And one day, I will watch that. Have you ever considered the original Dragon Ball? So now I'm getting a lot of anime requests. And, um... Let's just say this. I considered for a moment, should I even tell Chad I watched this movie? Because... I knew at that point I would get a lot of emails. Vinny, you should watch this thing, you should watch that thing, you should watch this thing. I would not be able to keep up with the amount of suggestions people would have for me. Even in the next ten years. So... Usually, if events like that kind of randomly happen, I'm at least open-minded enough to give it a shot. And if I enjoy it, I enjoy it. And, uh, maybe one day I'll watch another. So that's kind of where I'm at with that right now. I also watched Taxi Driver for the first time. Um, I knew all about it. And, uh, I hadn't... You know, it's funny because I've seen a lot of Scorsese's movies. And I've seen clips of that movie. I've seen bits and pieces of it, but never the full thing. And I watched it finally, and, uh... Whew, what a movie. He's such a good taxi driver. Like, he was able to, like, go around the city. He knew his way around. However, real piece of shit. But no, I... The movie's amazing. It's like a really well-made movie, and it's, it's a perfect snapshot of the 70s at that time, I think. At least I think it is. And Scorsese is like, that's... one of his best movies. I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. Like, I, I love a lot of his stuff that I have seen before that, obviously. That one might be the best one, in some ways. And it is relevant, and it's interesting to see his progression and what kind of guy he is and and um 
It's not someone to aspire to be. I don't know how some people do, but at the same time, the movie is very persuasive in its... Not persuasive. It does a really good job at, at getting you... Like, into his mindset. And that, to me, is an effective movie. And it, it just shows you... It's humanizing, it's hypnotic, and it's it's also pretty fucking disturbing. And it is a very hard movie to watch. But it's one of those things where I'm catching up on some stuff I haven't seen that I know I should have. And I'm glad I watched it. But man, that's a that's a tough one. Not as tough as like Schindler's List. That was another recent one I watched that I, I mentioned to you guys and oh it's there he is, a little alien fella. Ah, oh, that was blurry. Vinny, people aspire to Armstrong from Revengeance. There's some weirdos. Well, people probably also aspire to, like, Banjo from Banjo-Kazooie. There's, like, eight billion people on this planet. Uh -huh. Hey, everybody, it's me, Banjo! So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. There's, there's someone... To me, art and entertainment. It's a reflection of humanity. At least, the, I think, the best, most interesting kinds of it. And sometimes it shows the, the darker side of things. And I tend towards that. I like stuff that's lighter, too. Like, I watched the Lego Batman movie for the first time, and that was a lot of fun. But watching, um... I don't know, I, I don't really... It's just, it was just a fun movie. But, uh, I, yeah, I like to see movies that, that show that stuff, and Scorsese is particularly good at that. So... Definitely one to scratch off the list. Who is the character that is literally you, though? I'm, I'm me. No, you know? I've learned trying to emulate other human beings growing up, whether it be musicians or actors or whatever. Oh, Leon, of course. No, Leon Kennedy's the answer. But I've, I've learned trying to emulate people that you, you really, you can get, like, you can try to be more like that. You can, you know, say that, oh, I'm just like him, FR, FR. But I think you're just going to end up being you. And you, t you take a little bit of all the things that you like and people you admire and you add them to your, um, you know, your, your whole overall thing. It's like how an AI amalgamates information, except let's just get rid of the A and call it I. And you filter that stuff through your own distinctive personality. But yeah, I guess Leon Kennedy is the real answer. like one, please. So I don't think that's good advice because some people aspire to be like that guy from American Psycho. Well, I mean, that, that movie is a cartoon. And... I think there's an irony, because he's, like, jacked. Um, when you actually read the book or watch the movie... Yeah, I mean, it's fucked up. It's, like, completely fucked up. Um, but yeah, we, we unfortunately do live in a world with, um... Where, yeah. That's, that's kind of not something we can... We can avoid. There are people that want to be Fred Flintstone. And there are people that want to be Patrick Bateman. And, um... I guess the real debate and question is... If that movie was never made... Would that have just... 
like put the kibosh on that for those people and I don't know the answer to that and um I don't know if anyone has that answer um I, I think people are going to be the people but I'm also not a psych psychologist and uh or a sociologist for that matter. I don't know if you knew that chat, but I'm I'm not. But to me that's it, the American Psycho movie I just rewatched and it's fucking hilarious and incredibly dark and apparently the book is much much darker. But it is a cartoon. I mean like you watch that movie and it's so incredibly over the top insane. It, it, it's it's like how does it how I don't know the book is cursed on some chapters I've heard I that's one of those books that that and a clockwork orange I've always wanted to check out but there's a part of me that's just like you know what I don't need that today or this year or this decade. I just I just don't need that right now. Clockwork Orange the book is not the movie. Okay, so then it's not in the same category as as uh American Psycho then. Have you read House of Leaves? No. I haven't read as much as I would like to. With all the other stuff, like... Reading just kind of falls to the wayside. Which is... Unfortunate to admit that. Fake English major. I used to read a whole lot more. I mean, I do have a library of a lot of different books. Many of which I've read all the way through, but... in Oh, I saw a Wendy! In the, in the digital age here that we live in, between video games and movies and shows and videos and documentaries and stuff, it just becomes, um, and, and for me, playing music, writing music, recording music, listening to music, all these things make it a little hard to want to sit down with a book, which is uh, a little bit of a regret at the moment, and perhaps that will change. Because reading is something that has traditionally been very rewarding in my life. You read any graphic novels? I did. I read Preacher. I read Why the Last Man. A lot of standalone ones. Um, Pride of Baghdad. I, I guess not anything recently, but for a while, I, I, I had friends that were into graphic novels, and if you called them graphic novels, they would be pissed. So I was just checking for secrets. Because, um, to them, that was just comics. So, I... Yeah, I read, um, a couple. And I forget, there was another long form. I read Walking Dead up until, like, issue 80. And then I, I was like, I'm good. Um... But I really liked Preacher at the time. I don't know how I would feel about it now, but 15 years ago, Preacher was like the best thing ever. And all my friends like worshipped that book. So. The show was just kind of okay. Didn't really do it 100% for me, but it, it was okay. Hotel. So I have a couple weird fascinations in life chat. One is malls. Whether they be thriving or dying, malls are fascinating to me. And the other one is hotels. These aren't like hobbies, they're just random fascinations. Yeah, this this kind of the red carpet does 
evoke the shining a little bit. What about theme parks? Oh yeah, well, no, I mean, I watched the Defunct Land stuff on theme parks. I think they're interesting. But I, um... I don't go to enough of them. But whenever I'm at a hotel, like... There's that... I'm... perhaps I'm okay. That senator was pro-weed, apparently. Okay. I mean, just finding that random-ass thing and putting it on the TV there is, in and of itself, just a good mood setter for this game. I can't tell if those are packs of cards or, like, gummies or something. Probably gummies. Maybe they're chips. Very small bags of chips. Um, but yeah, whenever I stay at a hotel, I'm always, like, keen to explore a little bit. Like, I'll... <laughs> okay, this this is one of my, my stupid things, but I'll tell you. I will actually, like, try various doors. And, and, like, if the doors are shut, I'll just try them anyway and just try to see what's behind them. There's that one, um, hotel, there's, like, genuinely a liminal space hotel. I know we joke about liminal spaces, but it was so fucking weird. It's in, um, upstate New York, in Kingston, and, um, it is just, like, an, a weird, like, enclosed courtyard with balconies, and then, like, an arcade and a pool all in, but it's set... It's set up like a triangle, and it's so... Sh it's strange. It's really strange. And I found it... Yeah, I talked about it last year. I found it to be fascinating. And I like that kind of shit. I... Yeah, I... Um, some of that actually made it to the Red Vox stuff, the video. As long as I can dream, I threw some of that in there. I don't remember the name of the hotel, but yeah, I, I include... Um, I, I showed a couple pictures. One second. I really want to see the American Dream Mall because of how weird it sounds. It's weird. It's not as weird as you would imagine. But, yeah, it's it's worth... I think it's worth checking out. Um, give me... Three seconds here. Huh. Okay, it's been more than three seconds, I know, but... Okay. It's... Here's a couple pictures I had of this thing. That should kind of give you an example. You know, you know what I mean? Like, just strange, and then... There's another one. When lights went out. Um...
Here's an example of me just trying a door, like I said. This is a designated non-smoking section. Just a... Just an odd... It's an odd place. Vinny, you ever been to Roosevelt Field? Roosevelt Field! What is Roosevelt Field? That sounds familiar, but I don't know. Vinny's 5'5". Five five. Fuck off, I'm six foot. It's a failing mall in Long Island. Is that where... They had the airfield? My... Listen. I recently had to re-up my driver's license. And it's six foot. I know we joke about the 5'11 thing. It might be 5'11. But... That's what it says on the license. I'm sticking with it. They did... They measured, chat. They took the height. Six foot with shoes. Well, I wear... I wear Vans. Those things are pretty flat. Chat, I swear to God. I'm seven... I'm six foot eight. Have you watched Brutal Moose's mall videos? I have. I've watched... Oh, I've watched um, a decent chunk. Not all, but I've watched a, a pretty decent amount of Ian's stuff. And, uh, yeah, his mall stuff is interesting. pool at night. I, I really like this game's um, ambience and atmosphere. But this liminal stuff, like every liminal game I've played ends up having it, it's hotels, it's airports, it's pools. <laughs> Thanks for taking five years off my life with that jump scare. That was a sneeze. But I'm sorry it also became a jump scare. You sneeze like Donald Duck, yeah. Then he mutes a sneeze challenge, impossible, yeah. Someone in chat said I can smell the chlorine. Well, that place I just mentioned had, uh, like I said, I had an indoor pool. And yeah, the meaning that there was always kind of a faint smell of chlorine indoors.
just lends to just this strange atmosphere. I'm also, another thing, chat, that I'm fascinated by and enjoy is hotel breakfasts. And, like, seeing what kind of breakfast a hotel will have. Like, I like the buffet-style breakfast where you just get whatever you want. Someone said hotel breakfasts are free, but at what cost? At monetary cost. Included in the hotel fee, of course. There's one hotel I stayed at. Sometimes I just take a day trip. Or, well, actually, an overnight day trip. So that's a night trip. Never mind. But, um, and just find a hotel. I'm actually, I don't like Airbnbs as much as I like hotels. Especially these days. Like, the idea of an Airbnb is just sounding more and more weird. But, um, I feel like for the, a couple extra bucks. Which, by the way, Airbnbs and hotels are just about the same price these days. Because the market is fucked with the BMBs, but anyway. At least that's my limited understanding of that situation. But the um sometimes I will just kind of choose a place, find a find a hotel. Um and I like that. And um there's one place that had this amazing like breakfast sausage, but it was also like kind of like a hot dog. <laughs> And it was cut into, like, rounds. And it was just... There was a ton of them in the tray. And they were amazing. Now, I know it was, it was part of a trashy breakfast. I don't know what those fucking things were. I don't know where they got them, how they made them. It was trashy, and I loved it. Glizzy Gobbler. I, I fucking King Glizzard. That shit was so good. But yeah, again. I just like that kind of thing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is this the haunted room? I wonder if there's, like, any ghosts that show up in any of these photos. I'm not talking about the aliens. I personally think it's super funny, but how come you sneeze like that, even if there's a real reason? Comedy purposes on my stream. So... I've told the story before, but the reason I duck sneeze is... Um, a lot of times I'm not able to mute the sneeze in time because it, it happens so quickly. And instead of it being... Like... Just an annoying sneeze while you're watching a stream... I figured, well, let me start turning them into ducks. I will say, in real life, I have weird sneezes. Like... I'm not... Duck sneezing all over the place. <laughs> but they can get kind of weird, and I can make some strange noises. I've always... I've made weird noises my whole life. I had a friend that we would make weird noises. That It was just our thing. So, I still do it from time to time. Um, and the, the duck sneeze was like, well, I'm streaming. It... It works. It helps the sneeze dissipate properly. And chat seems to like it. And now I can't not duck sneeze because I've done it for so many fucking years. Is your laugh real? I would like to think so. I would like to think you could probably tell if my laugh was fake because... Um... It's... I don't really like my laugh all that much. And I feel like if that was a fake laugh, I'd probably choose a different one.
Are you even real? Hmm. Okay, so I need to figure out where the blue door is. I think played a shrimp is my answer to that question. When, um, whenever someone asks if I'm real, I immediately think to the Inhasa sequence in Chrono Trigger. When you talk to Doreen in, in uh, Inhasa and she talks about how, are we a plate of shrimp dreaming we're real <laughs> or something? She doesn't say plate of shrimp, that's from Repo Man. Sashimi, it's sashimi, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I can't find this door. Does anyone know where the um blue door is? Did anyone pay attention? Is shrimp real? They just arrive. in here. That's where we found the key. Oh, here it is. Something fucked up happened here. There was a uh, video of someone's hotel room where there was like a curved corner of, like, frosted glass. You know, so you couldn't really see through it. You just get, like, a vague light. And, um, in the closet in the hotel room... Huh, Bugs Bunny. Um, in the closet in the hotel room, using, like, a credit card, they were able to, like, pry open, like, a little compartment and it just went into a, um, like a, like a weird murder room. Saw that, that was weird, why does that exist? Can you link that? If anyone has that, I wanna, I wanna show that, cause I feel like that fits perfectly with this game. You see the video of the New York City apartment that had a whole apartment hidden behind a mirror. Desert, that's not gonna be it, is it? No, it's not. That's very much not it. This specific Looney Tunes episode is public domain. Oh. That explains that. Yeah, I saw that. There there's a there's a whole other apartment behind the apartment. But like literally like behind the mirror. I don't know whatever came of that, but... There's a part of me... that would've... I think this chat member found it. There's a part of me that would've, like, wanted to, um... Hang on. Not tell anyone about that secret room, and just, like, secretly renovate it, like, little by little. And then just turn it into like... Like, um... A private gamer room or something. Here, chat. I think this fits in with this game... Vertical fucking video, but... You'll get the idea. So there's the, the curved... Frosted glass I was talking about. Right, so you got closet.
What? So, you're chilling. You're chilling on the bed with your homie. Whatever. You're in the hot tub, whatever. And then you see a figure walking behind the glass. Just a shadowy figure. And it's Olaf going back to his masturbatorium. And it's like, Olaf, at this time? At this hour? Yeah, so no, I don't like that very much. The um, other video of the person finding... I th again, I wouldn't mind showing that either because that might be good for this stream. But the person finding the, the room... The entire, like, not just room, but other apartment behind the mirror. Did you lose your keys? 738... Zero two five. Doesn't look like it's a reference to me. Shit, here I here I was thinking I was the main character. Is this it? Secret New York City apartment. Um, yeah, I, well, yeah, I mean, it, there's, there's a little bit of embellishment in that video. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I wish I was more prepared to take that picture. This one work. Well, we'll hold on to that for a couple minutes because I want to. Uh, let me play a little bit more of this. <laughs> Chat. Suburb. Oh, this one looks cool. Man, Soda Raptor is really good at creating environments. Welcome to Quiet Pines. <laughs> Trenton? Which Trenton? There's probably... How many Trentons are there across the U.S.? I have been to New Jersey, correct. Trenton, New Jersey, I've been to. I've driven through Trenton, New Jersey. Clearly this is a reference to me. Reminds me of a level of that Mission Impossible game on the fucking N64. Weirdly enough. You get lost in this level, I recommend using street signs. Okay. Was there a sad soul on that bench?
Jeez. Yeah, it's hard to know. Sometimes I think I see a, uh, a person, like a figure, in the corner of my eye, and then I look back and they're not there. Which means that the game is working. No one's home. That was just Aurora Borealis. That's right. Nothing to worry about. Which one did I have the bad impression of? Chalmers? Or who, who was the, the shitty impression? Oh, it was, it was Skilmer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do a good Skilmer. Yeah, and I see, so skin <laughs> Skinner. Yeah, it's pretty bad. What did I tell you about random meteorites hitting people? Found any aliens here? And there's four of them. Uh oh. kind of like that the game after playing it for a little bit you kind of start wanting to get good photos if for no other reason than just because it's fun Photography is fun and easy hobby. It is. I kind of got into it a bit. Like, when I got my DSLR camera... God, 12 years ago now, almost 11, 12? Um, I mainly, I got it for filming purposes, like for conventions and like videos for YouTube and stream. But, uh, mainly conventions to take video. That was when phone cameras were still pretty shit. Not complete shit, but shit enough, especially if you didn't have like the high-end one. Now, I, I gotta be honest, if I record video at a convention, it's usually just on my fucking phone because it's just easier. And the immediacy of just being able to pull out your phone, you know, film. The lighting is good, and so the quality is not too terrible. It's not... Honestly, I still feel like I'm losing some quality. But the trade-off of, if like, convenience is just too alluring. 
for me to want to bring around um, a camera bag with a DSLR. That said, when I got my DSLR, I I definitely brought it around a lot. Like I had a little moment there where I thought maybe that was something I would like, I'd want to pursue. Whether it be, you know, like video or just pictures, I wasn't sure, but I enjoyed both. And um, I mean, I still do, I'm just a little lazy. Like, I think I'm just putting a lot of my energy into my music, and that, that has become my de facto thing to put my creativity in. That and penis video. Penis video song. You know what I mean. What do we call them, if you watch the VR chat thing? Come maps. Yeah. So... Just the... You know, it's like penis music, but videos. No? Alright, never mind. Anyway, so the DSLR thing is fun. I don't know if I would like to... lug around a camera that's not even that heavy to begin with. I'm just lazy. But... That was also, I got that before I started playing music again, so for a little while that seemed like it was going to be a major hobby for me, but it ended up not being that, and I do tend to put my energy into, you know, my streaming. Um, I've been doing a little bit more video editing, which has been fun, and I've been doing just music stuff. The Crank Zone. None of those words are in the Bible. Oh yeah. Well, if you didn't watch the- oh, there's one. If you didn't watch the VR chat video, I'm not going to try to explain it, but if you want to know what a cum map is, <laughs> I can help you. Um, I'm going to, there's going to be a highlight, just a very specific highlight that I think is going to be rather entertaining. Save the focus. How did you get to collaborating with James Key? Um, I don't even really know. We were, I guess we were aware of each other. He's seen some of my stuff. I've seen a little bit of his stuff. I, I didn't know quite who he was until later, like fully, but, um, I just like to, you know, for like Among Us sessions, just throw like, a bunch of random creators into a group and see what happens sometimes. And that's kind of how that happened. And that was about it. Yeah, when we did Among Us VR. I still have to do more of that stuff. At some point. I know Jedi Survivor's coming out. I'm aware, chat member. Thank you. Um, I have to... I, I get a little lazy, but I do enjoy getting, um, YouTuber, quote-unquote, YouTuber sessions. I've had the, the fortune of meeting some people over the years, like, and through, you know, conventions or streaming of, like, people that also make video, video about video game. And, um, I gotta be honest, as much as I was resistant to the Among Us thing, the VR version makes it more fun for me. And throwing a bunch of people that also make videos into an Among Us session is fun and also kind of a trial by fire because it, it becomes <laughs> like who has the biggest main character syndrome and if everyone meshes well, you know you've got a good group. So yeah, at some point I'd probably do another one. When a new when the new map drops, that's a definite. Theater. Um, here's a quick question. Who's the 
Mm. Here's a question, chat. Um, how much more maps is there? That's a bad way to say that. How many more... For whoever's played this. Three more if you count the theater itself. Okay. I'm a little tired. I had, um... I played music today. I had to scream today. Because I'm trying to... I'm trying to, like, relearn how to scream, but less... In a way that's not going to fucking destroy me. Oh, for music, not because of any other- yeah, just for music purposes, but... That and I had just a lot of running around and stuff to do. But, um... I'm really enjoying this. There's a level select and you can come back to this if you need to. Theater. So there's maybe like an hour left. Trying to avoid that Rockstar self-destruction. Very kind of you to say Rockstar, but... Um... I just... It's a hobby. And, uh, I don't need to... I don't need to live that lifestyle or go that far with it, no. <laughs> but I also... I, screaming sucks a little bit. It just kind of sounds good for certain songs. And I want to be able to do those songs justice. So... I'm trying to figure out how to be 37 and also, you know, do that. And maybe even like, um, you know, have put together what I've learned over the past couple years with that. But, uh, Vinny, you aren't 37. Shut up. Huh? Not? Well, that's a relief. Advance Wars is coming out. Um, yeah, I've, I've talked about Advance Wars. I'm interested, but not like. Not losing my shit over it. If it had more new stuff, I would. It's nice that it's back, though. So I don't know if I'm gonna stream it. Maybe next week I'll stream it. Oh, okay. Therefore, its producers feel they must assure free burial services to anyone who dies of fright while seeing the screaming skull. What a fucking marketing campaign. That's nice of them. They, they, they give you a fucking free burial if you die of fright to their movie. That's probably... Uh, frogs? Uh, do you sing out of your throat or your diaphragm? I guess both. Vinny, Vi, Vi me, whatever your name is, what do you think of a french fry vending machine? Oh, right, it's 420. Um... Well... You know what? If there was a way to get crisp fries, 
made like from a machine in that way and not have them be soggy like moist cum ridden <laughs> sorry I don't know what it's the fucking cum map discussion it broke my brain um listen I think it's a nice idea but I've also seen vending machines for pizza and some of that pizza looked pretty rank I guess it could be done But part of me wonders if there isn't a way to, like, actually cut the potatoes in the machine. Oh, the Wendy in the toilet! Oh, fuck. Joel is gonna love this. Oh, shit. We checked the bathroom. That's amazing. Do aliens count as duendes, chat? I'm sure they do, right? I mean... Only the green ones? I don't know, man. I just like the word duendes so much. I don't even know what the fuck it means fully. It's like just a cryptid, right? Like, <laughs> like a Bigfoot? Like a Squatch? Or I don't know. It just means goblin. Yeah, they're green. They're gobliny. They're yeah, that counts. A small gnome. They're small. They're sometimes green. As for the French fry machine, I just think you would have to have some really advanced technology. I like the idea of it. I like the way you're thinking, chat member. You could be the next Bill Gate. I don't know. You know, with ideas like that. But I do think you need to cut the potatoes fresh in the machine somehow. I'm the Snack Popcorn Man. Now listen up, everybody. Today we're gonna get some popcorn, we're gonna cover it in white butter. You know what white butter is? No? Good. Ah, that's just, ah, delicious. Ah. There's a french fry vending machine in Japan. This actually isn't a joke. Alright. Well, that chat member will not be rich after all. Does Japan have a vending machine for vending machines? I was gonna actually ask, what is the- if anyone has seen anything strange in the neighborhood, I'm curious, what is the- What is the weirdest vending machine you've ever seen, either in person or online, that you know is just bizarre and also exists? 
panties. Okay, well, that was a lot of people all at once that said that. Soup, homies. Fully cooked pizza. Used panties to be precise. That, that's not, that's not legal. That's not legal. You, that's not legal. It was. So, yes it is, not anymore. It was. It is, it isn't anymore. It was. Okay. This is a great conversation to have. Chat. Chat. If it was legal and it no longer is, that means it was happening. Like, maybe even frequently. Uh-oh! Vinny, they were just panties with fish oil in them. No joke. Okay. I... 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 I should not have instigated further. What other weird vending machines have you seen in the world chat room? What... Uh, what else have you seen... Not even reading the chat anymore. <laughs> Vending machine with a guy inside? What, like a guy doing the dispensing? Or is does it dispense guys? Can't find this door. Gold vending machine at the Golden Nugget Casino. That see now that is the kind of weird stuff I'm talking about. I mean, it's just... I don't know. You're gonna buy gold from a vending machine? I feel like when you're in Vegas or a similar place... You know... Y your brain just doesn't think the same way. Which is how they, like, are able to do that. Usually that's called drinking and drugs, but I'd also say the allure of the, the gambling and just the spectacle of everything. Probably lends itself to some rather bizarre decisions. Like, yeah, I'm gonna use the gold vending machine today. Oh. I thought that was a person. This is the murder room. Oh! I saw it. That was that was a that was definitely a duende. Lego vending machines at airports, they have full $60 to $100 Lego sets in them. 
Yeah, I believe that. Imagine trying to build Legos on a plane. I think I just said Blegos. There are car vending machines. I don't, I don't. I don't understand that. I don't. I really don't understand that. Carvana. essentially like this giant ass tower with cars in it you buy the car from there well what if your car doesn't work like there's so many variables here and and sorry i was uh, not looking at chat uh at the screen for a second there even um th there's just so much that could go wrong I don't know. There, there's probably something in place, but that's a weird, that's a weird fucking vending machine. Imagine, imagine just oh, nice, nice toilet water here. Very good. Ugh. Imagine impulse buying a car. the most you conceivably play for, uh, pay for an item from a vending machine. A video game. So, whatever video games are gonna cost from a vending machine. There's another alien in the bathroom. You know, I'm gonna try to do as much of this as I can. It would be swell to complete this in one stream. But yeah, there's there's a lot. There's a lot of areas, and it can get a little confusing. Some of these areas end up being pretty big. Like the theater one, I was convinced. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll be able to do this, no problem. But, no. The best part is when the car you ordered knocks another car that was dangling loose in the machine and you get a free extra car. <laughs> That's my favorite. You know that Jay Leno hosts, like, a fucking game show at the moment? This 
Isn't he like 80? He's like in his 70s. I, he just doesn't want to stop working. Fucking fireballs. Accidents. Uh, had to get his ear reconstructed. Dude just wants to keep working. I mean, I kind of can't blame him. On some level, I understand, because I, I too... ...would want to keep busy. I'm just lucky I have... ...like, something I can just... ...it's like, boot up the stream whenever I want. I'm like, yeah, I can stream. Whereas Jay Leno has to host a terrible fucking talk show. <laughs> I, I can't believe I have empathy for Jay Leno, but, um... I gotta say, I don't want to disparage anyone's appearance, but Jay Leno's chin... Like, when you see it on TV... It's just, it's like, real weird. Like... I don't know how to explain it. It just, it... It's strange. It's just a really, it's a really big chin. Though, it's funny because in, like, I actually watched a little bit of the talk show. It's just a basic question talk show. Like, you know, asks questions, there's answers. But, um, the art, like, one of the, the promo logo for the show is, like, a caricature of Jay Leno with an even bigger chin. And that's the officially approved, like, art for the show. Key art for the television show. And I'm... <laughs> Like, yeah, I guess that's just his brand. I don't think he... I don't think it's the... I mean, I don't think it's a huge problem. You know, if it works for you, if you find a way to monetize your chin... Like, fuck, do it. It's awesome. Only chins, that's right. He was the crimson chin on that fairy Nickelodeon show, right? Was he? I mean, it's almost like it's funny because you forget about it. And then like when you see him again on TV, it's like, damn, dude. Whoa, don't do that. bad memories pouring in. You know what? I... For me, it's not quite bad memories. It's just... Weirdly enough, bad memories... Okay, it's bad memories, but of dreams of school. The dreams that I still have of, like, high school and college... end up being worse than my actual experiences with high school and college. Which is... I'm sure I've told you, but for those that haven't heard this... There's got to be a duende behind here. <gasps> it's always the back rooms. It's always the back. How could they not be in this game? Of course they are. Yes, I still have dreams about missing school, missing classes, having a big test, and I didn't go to school. Um, my And this is recurring, and it ends up being generally even in the same classroom sometimes. And it's not a class that I actually had, but the worst one is... Oh my god, really? I have to go through this now? The, the worst one is chat. 
that um, I haven't been to the class for two months or more and finals are coming up and then I just happened to show up like a week before finals and uh, the teacher is is like I'm sorry who are you and I'm like no I you don't understand I'm I'm in this class and then I retain nothing and then I end up just giving up Wow. I did it. So yeah, I have that. That's that's one of my, my worst ones that, that is um, fairly recurring. I wasn't quite that bad of a student. There were times where I didn't go to class. There were times where I didn't pay much attention. There were times where I didn't study for a final. But I didn't miss like a class for like two months and then go in and be like, Hey everyone, it's me. Student. Were you a class clown? Not really. Depends on the class. I'm I'm kind of one of those. I'm a little shy. Um, but if I'm comfortable, I can be funny with the right people. But in a classroom, it depends on the class. I remember in high school, some classes I could be pretty funny. And then other times I would be a little shy or it would be like people that were maybe not into my sense of humor. Or maybe like a class full of like people that had their own click and, and thus I would just keep my mouth shut. So we're at the mall now. So this has everything I like, which is gas stations in the middle of nowhere, hotels, and malls. I was good at quips. I was good at, like, random, like, funny quips. Which, um... Sometimes I would say, sometimes I wouldn't. And again, that was all dependent on the on the actual consistency of the classroom and the professor. But in the perfect circumstances, I I had I had my moments. Scoots boots? Is that what it said? <laughs> hmm. Those eyes be kinda green though. I don't know why I said that like that, but that might actually be the scoot. Only candles. I feel like I've been in this exact mall in eight different games, says a chat member. I've I've been in a mall similar to this in many different games and also VR. Someone said, damn, that's crazy. It's almost like malls often have incredibly similar boring designs or something. That's why I do like seeing videos of just weird malls. Third bathroom alien, everybody. We got it. Really? Really?
That's so immature. I, you know what? I lost my taste for this game now. Like, I just don't think that's very funny. Because what... Hmm. Where'd that come from? Stalling to find the button? No, 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 no. That was all part of the bit. We are moving locations. Ni nice closed anchor store. But, um... The American Dream Mall... ...is worth checking out, but I, it's not worth traveling to. But I say it's worth checking out because it is... There's like a weird gnome garden. There's the, like, weird architecture in one of the places. Um... There's just big, empty, open, nothing hallways that go nowhere. So there's a lot of interesting things to see if you were into strange malls. Um, and again, it's just a, a testament to, like, projects ballooning out of control. It's a testament to the human hubris that is massive structures that end up being constructed for over like 15 years. So yeah, it's worth seeing. But again, I wouldn't... If you're not already in the tri-state area and you're not like in New Jersey for some reason anyway, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Okay, I'll open that up. Um, but it is at least unique enough that it's not the same shitty mall design ad nauseum that we've seen a thousand times. It's a little bit different. Got like an indoor skiing um, slope. It's got giant, like, Ferris wheel. It's got, um... an ice skating rink. Some... There's some stuff in there. There's, like, an Angry Birds blacklight golf course. There's the Nickelodeon water park with the topless Shrek. <clears throat> it's true. Type American Dream Nickelodeon Park, or Nickelodeon Water Sports. Just type that in there, and, uh... They got one ride... ...called the, the Shower. And, uh, you have to get a gold pass. And then you can ride it, so it's technically the... ...type Nickelodeon Shrek Golden Shower. And you'll, you'll see the ride. It'll, it'll be, uh, probably one of the first results. Uh, and then I would also say, also check out, um, Shrek's cock. Just Google that as well. <laughs> and you'll get, uh, his chicken. And we've been here. How do you spell that? S H R E K O C K S H R E C K S Did you not see that door in the arcade? Yeah, I couldn't go through it though. I'm pretty sure that the door was, um, exit door. There was a keypad on it. Oh, God, there's so many keypads. All right, never mind. Um, we'll go back in there then. Did you see retro type? Okay, no. Um, 
All right, we'll, we'll go there now. I, apparently now I can put my birthday in there. Am I the main character? Well, there he is. Wow. Um, that's amazing. I have a big dumb smile on my face right now. That is from the green screen footage we took of him drinking a beer. Vinny, I think this is a coincidence. Oh, you know what? You might be right, actually. We got an amplifier there. Is that a Fender Twin? Or a Fender Reverb? A, not Reverb, Deluxe? What is that? It kind of looks like... Huh. Fine pop. <laughs> this is amazing. Whoa, what is this? It's a shroom. It bounces. Vine quest, insert point. Man. I'm so happy I didn't know this existed. And, and actually having the chat convince me that the birthday thing was just a coincidence. Okay, it actually opened up. Oh my god. It actually opened up a window. I need to lower it a bit. <laughs> oh my god, chat, this is amazing. Welcome, Vine. Press tab or start to view the controls. Gamepad is recommended. Okay, listen. This is really great. I'm gonna come back to this. I am gonna come back to this. It's it's too late for me to really spend time with it right the second. That's a yeah. This needs its own thing. I don't like. I'm tired as fuck right now, and um, yeah, and I don't want to spend the time like glossing over this so I can't believe there's an actual fucking game <laughs> inside the game so Soda Raptor if you ever if you watch this at some point just know how appreciative I am yet again for the reference and d then creating a full game and then including meat and Nort I didn't, again, I did not know. Uh, is this game free or on Steam? It's on Steam. I spent, um, I bought it, actually. I, I, the Hypnagogy game was so good, I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna ask for a key. I'm gonna give the dev the ten bucks. And, um, I can see, I, I do not regret that at all. This game has been really cool. And also has, um, given me a little, um, chip on the shoulder. So thanks for that. No, but seriously, though, if you're watching Soda Raptor, thank you. You don't have to keep putting me in your games, but 
it's very kind of you. Keep doing it. <laughs> I mean, if you want. Wait, is Soda Raptor here? Wouldn't be a my game without a sauce reference. Yeah, they're here. Hey. I actually may need a link to that, um, to that Vine Quest game separately, because otherwise I'm I'm going to actually Soda Raptor. Could you could you link me to that, or perhaps um, get me a download? Might be an EXE. Will it open a web page? Well, regardless, yeah, it opened up. Um, it opened up a web page. Regardless, I'm gonna play it, even if I have to do a little hunting for it. It's it's it that deserves uh, its own look. Um, but I don't know where this red door is now. Chat, does anyone remember where the red door was? You check the browser history. Oh yeah, you're right. your browser history right next to Shrek cock. What if that was just his last name and everyone's making fun of Shrek's last name? We got scoots boots. Oh, here, 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 here we go. It's an anchor store. It it's just an anchor. That's why I was confused. I, I was thinking it was gonna be like just a little side building or something. Man, that's a, a really, that's a really cool thing. When, like, devs put a little reference. I feel unworthy of such things. Um, there's also an ultra kill. Gotcha, I gotcha! Nope. Damn it. Yeah, Ultra Kill had one. And I forget, um... Soda Raptor's other game, Hypnagogia. You sound totally sane, Vinny. I... N most sane streamer. But what else was there? I felt like there was there was something else. Vine worlds? No, that didn't have a reference. Bloodstained, yeah. Vinny is your left foot numb. That's another that's a very sane chat member. Hat in time. Um, had one, yeah, there was a couple other ones. Was that Nowhere Michigan game, did that have a Vine Sauce reference, or am I inventing that in my head? I don't think that did, actually. That guy is a repeat offender. I've- I've referenced that chat member before, I- like, they're- they're trying to do some fucking voodoo. I'm pretty sure they have, like, a little doll, and they're sticking needles in the foot. Bluey? Yeah, Bluey had a Vine Sauce reference, that's right. But that's not a game, so I didn't, I didn't mention it. I've, I've had a couple... 
Got a couple cool ones, yeah. Lone Fungus has a vine saw skin if you do enough spins, that's true. Correct, Joel was also in Bluey, yeah. The news had multiple vine sauce references. <laughs> Cursed Halo. So here's the thing. Um, I, there's a new Cursed Halo. And it's single player focused. And I want to check it out. But my problem is. I don't own the Master Chief collection on Steam. I have the. Physical copy of it. For the Xbox One. And um, it's on sale for like 16 bucks. On the Microsoft Store. But not on Steam. Wait, it's on sale on Steam right now? You streamed the Steam version, you played Reach. It's 16 on Steam. Oh, okay, I'll buy it right after this then. Cool. Yeah, I want to check out that cursed Halo thing. Best physics. I think we did it. There's an alien in the back seat. It's okay, someone else will pick it up. So all the pictures... Oh no, that's broken, never mind. Um, all the pictures are actually saved to a folder. So you can... You can take a look back at all of your, your work. And then if you show that those pictures to someone, they die in seven days. Well, Soda Raptor, yet again, another really cool game. I've gotten to the point now where I look forward to your games. And not just because I'm a fucking egomaniac. But... I like the game quite a bit. Um... Good environments. Great ambience. Um... A cool concept for wanting to explore. I mean, some of it... And, and again, I hate to even say this, but as a nitpick, I think some of the hallways in a couple places were very samey. But I guess schools look samey. Airports look samey. That's part of the... the thing. But otherwise... I think it did a pretty good job with the liminal space concept and giving you a camera and having hidden aliens made it even more fun. Um, great environments. Oh, you don't need to put me all the way up there, but Jesus, thank you. Uh, keep up the good work, Soda Raptor. You're, you're a very good developer, and I look forward to more games from you.
the truth may still be out there. Yeah, I didn't get all the aliens. Good stuff. So yeah, I'll check out that little fan game very soon. Vinny, the New York apartment. I think it's it's just a little too late now. I'm a little too tired. But um, thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for stopping by here on the 420. Um, there's a lot of interesting things that we've seen tonight and talked about. So, yeah. It's been, been something. Next week, we'll check out Advance Wars. Um, like I said, I got a code for Dead Island. I don't know if I'm going to play it. Maybe. Could be a good multiplayer thing. Maybe a pre-record. And, um, Sunday might be doing commercials. Maybe. And, yeah. Other than that, let's see how that, uh, Jedi game is. And, uh, I'll be playing more stuff until Zelda comes out. And then only Zelda in a couple of weeks grotto beasts when i i just am waiting for a couple of packs of cards and then i'll do the grotto beasts i also got a treasure chest let me say that again and better <clears throat> i recently received a literal treasure chest in the mail with things in it i haven't seen all of it i know it was for a majora's mask themed cookbook and that's in there, but also in the chest are several other things, and I am, am specifically not opening this treasure chest because I'd like to show the stuff off on a video at some point. So, looking forward to that. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what all of it is, but it could be fun. All right. Now I will go. Goodbye. Thank you all so much for the continued support, for continuing to watch. And uh, I'm just very flattered. Seriously, all the time, people are really, really nice to me. And I appreciate it a lot. And um, yeah, we're rapidly approaching 1 million on YouTube, which I think it's nice. It doesn't really affect my self-worth. But I do know that Gray Leno is going to be doing a Q&A for a million live. So just, that'll be fun. Right? 